Welcome back. This is Rick669. And Ben Ryu. Back with Dead Space 1. This is our second episode. I'm a little more excited than I should be. <laughs> and uh, we haven't taken damage yet. So let's try to keep it that way. I'm going to start the game now, and we're on our way to fix the tram. Ah, oh, puppy, why? If you... They're going to tell you what you need to know, and literally you just have to do what they tell you to do. Okay, so literally these things you're going to need. Look for these boxes, anything shiny, pick it up. Power nodes are going to save your life, and you're going to need them for the rest of the game. Do not uh, misuse them, and if you can, buy them. I probably did that wrong because I think only one of them doesn't stick, but you kind of need to get both of them now. And then you need to come back, do this one, and shoot it, so that they don't move back because they, they flinch. And then you can... <sighs> I, did it, I did it too soon. Oh, there he goes. Now it'll start. Holy shit! See, and they pop out of nowhere, you see? Took one hit, not too bad. Oh, wow. Oh, like I said, just do this. Oh, flip Goodness! Controls. Okay. That scared the shit out of me. That's what it's gonna do. My butthole puckered a little bit. <laughs> oh my God, my. But as you need to know, um, in this room, you don't need to worry about wasting your stasis because there is a stasis recharge. This is how you know it's an old game. The, the controls whiff a little bit. That's why you gotta be extremely careful, and I'm surprised I didn't take more damage than I needed to. Literally, you don't need to do much more than this. Really? Because he's still alive. Alright, you got it. He died. And we didn't take any extra damage. They'll flinch the first time. After that, they'll come and try to kill you. He's not dead. Play dead. There you go. You know they're not dead until at least they give you an item. They give you an item. Alright, so that part's pretty much done. That was freaky. So you come over here, you recharge your stasis, and you get ready for the next part of the game, which is to meet the Oh, that's room. a full recharge? Yep. That's ridiculous. If you need it in the game, they're not going to make you go buy an item or have to look around for it, because that just slows down the progression of the game. So what they do is they give it to you where you need it, and of course oh, they put shadows to scare the crap out of you. There's anime. one actually up there, but you can't kill him. It's just for animation to scare the crap out of you. So we look again where we're going. Probably back to where we were before. Yep. There should be, I believe, one enemy, but I don't want to like kind of kill it for you. Open Sesame. And of course they give you stasis recharge over here too, so don't be afraid to use your stasis this specific part of the game. You're not gonna recharge it to full? Well, I guess not there's still I'm enemies, done. yeah. You wanna do that first because this guy is the scariest guy ever. Oop, Holy they shit! Jump at you. You, you, is he stomp? Yeah. You stomp him. You stomp his arms off. That's how you're gonna kill him. Once they start flailing, you know they're dead. Jesus Christ. He does it like a badass. See marksman. that you get marksman. What does that mean? I believe it's shooting from far away, but honestly, I should have gotten a, a trophy for stomping them dead. It's, well, it's it after. Might, it might load again, so. It's after uh, shooting from far away or shooting off their legs being uh, accurate. So if you do that in the beginning of the game, you'll get the marksman trophy. Just you're, try to be you're, as. You're way more accurate than this than I am, so. Just follow your cursor, you won't get lost. But later on, when you have multiple objectives, you will get lost, depending on what you're trying to do. Are you going to go after, like, all of the side shit? There's no side stuff, it's just things have to be done in progression, like different uh, orders. But you can do them separately, you don't have to do them in any specific order, just they give you more than one. Yeah, okay. So be careful changing through your menus, because they will they will jumble on you. Okay, we gotta go that way. That this would take fucking us dog. Get down, stop it. No more enemies. Alright. Search and rescue? Did you hear that? You'll hear little whispers here and there. It's, it's to set the mood, honestly. So it doesn't mean anything? No, search and rescue, uh, you're there to actually help them. But you're way too late. King Ghidorah! Now we gotta go to maintenance bay. Any more shadows? This. This would be easier if we did have our kinesis, but we I gotta waste items. Remember, I only have a, a small box right now to hold items in my uh, inventory. Dude, Necromorphs look so fucking bad in this game. Like, Jesus Christ. This part, you don't want to waste the stasis so much you don't have a recharge. But don't waste as much ammo as you possibly can. Basically, it's be conservative. 
Yeah, th I, if I was playing on a hard mode, you'd have to be way more conservative than I'm being right now. Yeah. What you want to do is you want to shoot this when he comes near you. Staggers a little bit, shoot his leg, and stuff. Combo. Ah. Hey. And yes, they like to do that. The only game where they don't make noise when they're behind you. Did you have to shoot that one that many times? Yeah, I, I, I panic a little bit sometimes. Make sure they don't come back up. Hey, there's another one. They're making scary little violin noises like that. They don't hear it, though. It, so it sounds like a Godzilla movie. Yeah. It kind of does. See, as you can see, if I go into my inventory... Too much. Oh, well. uh, let's not do that. <laughs> now you can. You can actually take as much time as you want to at this point. Really? Because he's still up. One shot to the arm, he's gone. But again, don't get cocky like this in the beginning, I mean, uh, later in the game, because they will become resistant. That's why you need to power up Alright, we have too much. Because this is only on medium difficulty, and I refuse to start on easy. Yeah, well, I wouldn't either, honestly, even if I'm bad at it. It's telling you to go this way, so we gotta go this way. I like to explore everything beforehand, but I don't think in this level there's really much more to explore. We have full ammo, we need to go upstairs. Elevator. <laughs> and just for you guys, I did have to start a new account, so you guys can see all the trophies I can possibly make for you guys. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get everything, because... We're going to get as much as possible. Yeah. And I like to see them playing dead, they're fun. Look, see, yeah. It's like getting stung by a bee, it hurts. But there's another one that's going to come out of nowhere, so I'm going to have to be careful. Did you give me anything? Some of them will give you stuff, some of them won't. They're stingy bastards sometimes. They're <laughs> stingy bastards. I'm still trying to figure out where items come out of a monster. Like, I don't Dude, think... they were holding on to it for dear life when they died. I mean, that's how I see it. Right now, I'm... Hey! Fuck you. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. No, you, can, you can't equip shit. Right now, I can't really get much. Oh, there we go. I only used one bullet. Well, hey, compared to them, that's what they're saying. Alright, so we finished this objective. Active. Okay, so literally it's gonna just tell me to go this way, which it means I just to change. And more fucking assholes. Oh my god! It's okay. Dude, stasis is broken. It won't be later. When I, there's like 10 of these things coming at you? It's It still seems pretty broken. I'm not being conserved right now because I kind of want to fit all the ammo I could possibly yeah, I fit, but there's really no point. So we're just going to continue. Okay, it tells me basically to go back where I came. There's kind of like a lot of backtracking in Dead Space in there. There's enough of it, because in, in the end it's like you're in a giant circle, but yeah. you'll see when it comes to... Well, I mean, will, you're on a ship. It'll make complete and total sense. Well, you're not... The whole time, yeah. They try to set the move. See, he just stopped right before he got yeah. to me. Well, I'm assuming that in, in, a, in a harder difficulty, he would not stop. Um, he would. He probably wouldn't. Have, or he would have started swinging. Oh, swinging. okay. I guess there was no other enemy. Nah. The controls are so iffy for when they first made this game. They, they whiff a lot. So you gotta be careful with how you're shooting. Be extremely precise. Same thing with the, uh, the stasis. If you're using it, try not to use it from really close because they will whiff, and then you will take a hit. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. This part's confusing, but you can go right through. Only after you finish your objective. Now you get the new bench, which is what the nodes are actually used for. It tells you what to do. Access bench, put on power nodes. Literally, we only have, I believe, what? One at this point? There's... Now we have two, because they give you one to prove a point. Um, <laughs> Proof of point. Basically, if you fit, if you miss the first one from base, wait, huh, that's a level two pack, isn't it? This is medium, um, medium health. Um, literally, uh, all you really want to use your your nodes for in the beginning is on your rig, but we're not gonna go yet because if we run into a storage uh, room, you need a node to access. I don't know why you talk to me when these things are coming after. Yeah, she's not too convenient, is she? She doesn't know. She can see my face, but she can't see the monsters. 
Yeah, sorry, still shooting things, motherfucker. Uh, there should be another one, but he's kind of, like, slow. Yeah, he is taking you his Taking your time, time, Grandpa? I like to do this. Makes me feel like a badass. <laughs> really? Man, I hate, I hate all the enemies in this game. I didn't go to college, but I kill monsters. Yeah, you did. You went to college. I'm a liar. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna beat you. Same thing when you're hitting them, try to aim towards the body parts, because same thing, sensitivity of the game, you know, game mechanics, you kind of have to aim. Bye! Uh, we didn't really have to do that anymore, he fell off the cliff, I mean the ledge. Yeah, I, I kind of figured that might have been overkill. Things in this game won't actually go, like, according to plan all the time, but they're just funny when they happen. Okay, we're going through this door, which is an elevator. Man, who in that shit, like takes a sec to start going, because then it's like, shit, what am I doing wrong? Is there something else coming? Every door takes a freaking minute. And it's scary. It's because, like, you don't know. It's like a second before you actually lose your life or you have to start a fight, you know? Yeah, I get you. Alright. On our way. But where the fuck did that come from? This is why you always shield. Wait, you have a shield? No. <laughs> Smash reference. Oh my god, fuck you. Who just runs up and then stops? Oh, it was like, who I just think walks he... into a Ford Smash over and over again? He walked into a Luigi taunt. Was there some behind? Oh, no, it was your shadow. Yeah, they, no, there was a shadow. They do that to scare you, but nothing's really coming down the hallway. It's just to scare the crap out of you. Okay, well, literally now we just gotta put in the pieces. They're still over there sitting like they didn't get attacked or anything. Because they're, they're a-holes. Literally, I'm doing all the work. They're just sitting there complaining, like a married couple of some kind. Yeah, why are they not reacting to this shit? Well, they're oh. getting on the tram right now. The tram I just got for them because they couldn't do it themselves. All right, we're on board and heading to the bridge. Good work. Strange. The quarantine just lifted. Whatever was in the flight lounge must have left. That's lucky for us. No, it's not. Isaac, get back to the carry on and prepare for launch. <laughs> we'll find out where we can from the bridge and meet you there. If we live that long, yeah. you're out of your league, Hammond. This is suicide. We're going your to die up here. confidence in me is to really notice, Miss Daniels. But I have a mission to complete, and that's exactly what I am going to do with or without you. Literally, you have an you overconfident have commander, it. and the bitch that says you can't do it. Just get us out of here alive. I mean, I'm with her. Fuck you. You led us into this shit. The problem is they didn't know anything when they first came. They were just going to a distress signal. You always blame the leader. And they make it dark, so it's scary when things happen. But there's nothing else in this room that you should really get, so you go Really? Straight. That thing's just dead? Yeah, it's a dead guy. What's interesting, if you knew what happened before the whole attack on the ship, yeah. you know exactly what they were doing. They were only mining, and then this crap happened. Which makes you think. Right, because this world is a resource space. Like, that's the reason why It's, it's a mining operation. But they're doing space mining instead of just being, like, you know, coal mining or... Yeah. Because it, it, these planets... Yeah, you go where the resources are, right? These planets are high resource, not living, but for resources only. Okay, this guy is gonna try and run into the friggin' vent. I don't want him to, so I just shoot him with this. Cause then he's a problem later, and he kinda tries to like pop up on you, say like happy birthday or something. Dude, he's dead. He's for sure dead. Yeah, but you gotta make sure they matter. Like vents like this, where they just come out because they. Oh, see like that. Oh, son of a bitch. You, you only see their cl their friggin' blades when they come up near you. Oh, that they, uh, they can probably hit me. Okay, yeah, they have a lot of range. Yeah, I saw that. They're just not bright or fast. I mean, they are fast. They're just not bright. I should know where I'm going. I shouldn't be doing that every five seconds. Well, I mean, if you want to be sure. All right, now you can actually break the boxes that you've been uh, awaiting to break from the very beginning. And it's just bullets. That you need. Hey! Come here! No survivors. We're going to try to get the command computer. Literally all the audio is either people suffering or telling them what they were trying to do beforehand. Yo, was this a, a rescue mission that you guys came It was, for? it was just a, it wasn't really a rescue. You answered a distress signal, oh. which was to, uh, start the, start the ship back up because it was losing power or yeah. for whatever reason. They answered the distress call and they came there and all this happened. I'm sorry about the dog in the background. She sees some, oh my god. Yeah, they're coming after me, but I'm just going to turn around. You don't know Obama. Jesus. 
They're persistent. There's another one, too. Yeah, that thing took a lot longer to kill than the other ones. Those are, like, my worst enemies. I hate these ones more than anything. Because you can only kill them by shooting their arms, and that's extremely specific. Yeah. They walk on their arms, and they're really fast. And if you didn't get it before, you could always come back and grab the health that was there before, but we already did. So now we just gotta make this happen. Oh, yo, what? Get the hell out of there. Get the hell out. Get the hell out. Things like to explode in this game. Yeah, fuck. There goes your transport. There's another way. That's what this whole game is about. Getting the hell out. Now you basically stop them from moving, you just click off their arms, and there's still one more. Yeah, the fucking flying bitch. They can jump. Oh, there's oh two! Oh my god. It's another walking one. Oh, I got his arm. Good shit. Now he'll take a man to get here, and that's the one I gotta worry about. Okay, they're good. If you wanna be an asshole, go over here, stop his... He's dead. Oh, he's still alive. Those are at home. It's the only way off the ship. Kendra. No! Well, you're stuck now. It changes everything. Just let me think. Can you access the It's no good. There's an executive lockdown of all primary systems. Without the captain's authorization, I can't access them. The captain's authorization. He's probably dead. Here he is. Captain Benjamin Matthias. Location? Med lab. Status? Deceased. Deceased. What? How? I can't access that information. Find the captain and you'll find his rig. With his authorization codes, I can crack this computer wide open. Damn it. Isaac, I'm sending the tram back to your location. Get to the medical deck and find that rig as fast as you can. What was that? I basically just added more stasis. Just in case anything bad happens. They're being attacked. Sorry, they're still alive. They gave them a name. Well, shit, they gave them a name? That's how you know? Yeah, is this another bathroom? Oh, cut it? No, no. I miss, I miss, I miss all the timer. It is another bathroom. Yeah, there's so many bathrooms on this ship. I mean, if it's a big ship, it's a lot of shit and people. The shit for chips. the ship. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Alright, so we're going back. I believe we're going up. It'll tell me where. No, we're going down. We're literally going to the medical uh, deck to find find the captain. It's because we need his rig to access information, which then will tell us what we do next. Because they really don't go until you get off into the next part. So. Alright, well, that goes for the episode, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Benny Ryu! And Risk 669. Signing out. They didn't want me to do that. No, it's your...